Hello everybody and welcome back to Ghost Recon. Today we are doing the uh, the walkthrough for the Island Thunder campaign, the final uh, expansion for the original Ghost Recon. As you know, gentlemen, Whoa, that's... we are here to help safeguard the first democratic elections Cuba. That's a bit loud. And Cuba's having democratic elections in 2008, I guess. So, uh, oh boy, oh, yeah, I haven't done these in a while, I kind of don't know what the fuck's going on here. Alright. Oh, man, this mission. So, okay, yeah, this is a very, very hard mission. Especially for the first one in a, in a freaking campaign. Wow, this is... I think the entire, uh, Island Thunder campaign is extremely hard like this, but, alright. Let's get to this. So, the very first mission, there are 48 guys, which I think is at the upper ends of the amount of guys on missions. I think Desert Siege, the highest, was like 49 or something. So, yeah. The AI is just as unforgiving, if not more. I don't know if that's if it's the guns they have or what, but they just seem way more unforgiving in Island... Island Jeez, in Island Thunder than Desert Siege of the original. So anyway, 48 guys we have to kill here. Okay, let's... Alright. So, uh, right off the bat... Yeah, I'm gonna just go in sections, like I've been doing when I've been practicing this freaking mission. So, basically in the spawn field right up here... You're gonna be killing six guys. One is like in the middle of the field right when you spawn. Two are kind of up on a, a little path right between these rocks. One is patrolling around this rock. And then once you start killing people, two from like down here or something are gonna come over. And either on this side of the rock or this side of the rock. So that's all six right in the first encounter. Then you're gonna come up here. And you're going to kill two guys that are kind of running around these houses. It, uh, it can vary on where they are, of course. So you kill those two. And then you go kind of... There's a tree fallen that, that uh, fell on this building right here. You're going to kind of go... I'll show you, but you're going to get in a really specific position to kill eight guys. And there are five guys that are just like lined up right here. Just lined up. And then there are three guys patrolling around these huts or whatever. So there's eight guys in total right around here. And then once you're done with them, you gotta come around this side and deal with four in here, which, uh... Oh, man, the guys in buildings in this are just... Holy moly, they're... It's like... You don't even have to make a mistake and you die, but... We'll see what happens. So there are four in here. And then once you kill those four, you'll get the seized plantation grounds, which is the only objective we're actually going to be doing before we end up killing everyone. So after all that's done, you're going to kind of run along this road here. And there are four guys patrolling around kind of like uh, the south side of this lake. Going to kill them. And then you're going to Go to the far side of the road right here, up to the edge of the map, because there is a... Well, actually, you don't have to, but... I recommend getting to about, like, around here, about right the middle... Or right at the middle of the lake. Right here, well... Where the middle of the lake meets the road, pretty much. Because there's a zone that kind of covers half the road. Like this. And that, that uh, causes two guys to run up. And basically up on this road so when you get close enough you can enter the zone and lie down really quick and then the two guys will come up you can kill them then another guy will come up because he heard all that and you kill him so there's gonna be three right by this corner and then you go to the corner so you're looking down on this field right here there's gonna be two guys patrolling in the field and two guys in a hut and you're going to kill all four of them, which is pretty easy. And then there's a sniper kind of right at the T. 
of this road. You're gonna kill him, he's like right around here. And then there are four more guys in a building right here. And that's probably the hardest part of the mission because uh, they spot you, they just spot you right away, even if you're laying down. I think it's because you're. I go at the top of the road and kind of aim down, but sometimes they all eventually come out of cover, sometimes they just sit there and you have to go in a different way. Um, if you go in the front here, you're going to alert the guys down here. So I would recommend not doing that. I'd recommend going around the back. But this is kind of a wild card. But anyway, once you're done with that, you go over here. There should be a truck. Should be like a abandoned truck on this path. You can lie down and get a good sight on this field. And there's going to be three guys in here. And uh, sometimes one of the three likes to hide right behind this rock in these woods. And you can't see him from your position. So you'll have to kind of go around and kill him. But before you do that, there's going to be two guys walking up here, which you shoot and kill. Pretty easy. And then you can kill him. Or if these guys get a shot off at you, that's going to alert these guys. So then you'll wait for these two to come up. And then just kill them normally. And if there's a lot of gunfire, then there's two guys further down that will come up. So, again, this whole last section is also a little bit of a wild card, but it's also, you know, pretty, um, reliable, or, I don't know. But there are three guys in this field, two guys on this path, uh, one sniper behind this rock, two guys in this field, two further down, and then one and one. And once you deal with everyone but these... Oh, and once you kill the, the guys that can come up here or not, then you kill the sniper. And then you kill... I like to come down this way and kill the last two over here. It just seems easier. But yeah, uh, this is just such a... I I can probably make a... With the other missions in this game, I could probably get, like, fucking fail compilations of me trying to do this. Because uh, it takes a lot. At least this one did. So yeah, we're not going to take any other guys because there is a specific objective not to lose any teammates. So, I'm not going to risk that. And besides... Uh, when you spawn in with a teammate, they immediately shoot the guy in the center of the field without any, without, like, telling you or whatever. So they're going to alert everyone else right away, which you're going to do anyway, but it's, you know, better to do it on your terms than the AI. And, again, I don't really know what to use, I mean... I've never really tried sensors. I don't know what they do. I don't know how much help they would be. Don't need extra ammo. And a suppressed pistol might be helpful. It could be. Uh, depending. But hopefully we unlock a Will Jacobs or something. <laughs> As the first specialist because, uh... I've been having accuracy problems with the standard rifleman. And uh, you do get uh, five combat points for the beginning, so I just kind of throw them on. You know, whatever. So, let's start this disaster. Alright, so shoot him right away. Then you have that guy. And these two. Then you're going to have two coming down that way, but we're going to wait for this guy to come out. Okay, there are those two. Alright, that is the first six. I 
and we come up on this side of the map and yeah, there are going to be two guys running around here and you want to be careful because uh, I think these guys can get alerted if you like you know if you're shooting over this way and you miss and you know one of your bullets flies by So we'll just wait and see what happens here. Okay, there's one guy. Okay. So one guy ran over that way, that guy kind of ran inside. And hopefully those three down here shouldn't be alerted. And we'll see what this other guy does. Alright. So that's those uh, two dead. And now uh, last time, well... I was just doing this like ten minutes, or... <laughs> like, uh five minutes ago or something and I died because these three guys came around this side of the house for some reason I don't know why I think it's because I I did what I kinda said and I like missed a shot on this guy and it went over here so let's try this again okay there's eight guys here so that's one of uh, one of eight so there's seven left I want to see this corner, this corner, this corner, and this corner. Six. Yep, they decided to come around this side. So that should be... what was that? I, I've completely lost count at this point. Fucking bodies in the way. I think this should be the last guy here. The one that's going crazy. Yeah, okay, I think that was... Oh, God. Alright, so yeah. Two guys decided to come around this side. For whatever reason. Um, I did try before when I was first trying this, I did try going like right here. You still see all three, but it's, it's a, it's a bit closer. But you probably won't have to worry about this. So, uh, you can either, you can hang back a little more and worry, maybe worry about these guys like, uh, cause I did this over like practicing and stuff I did this several times like uh, I don't know I don't even know how many times and these guys this is the first time these guys came around this side and I I didn't miss over here or here and alert them so again <laughs> I don't know why but they decided to come around this side this time but they didn't shoot me right away as soon as they turned so Hopefully you'll have time, but, uh... So yeah, you can hang back here or go right up to that tree. It's just, you know... Whatever, and, uh, so the guys running, like... Sometimes they'll just sprint right out, turn and shoot you. 
all in like one second. Like just a dead on shot. It's like they have aimbot pretty much. So that's that's happened to me a couple times when I've been like in front of the tree or right by the tree right here. They just one of the guys that comes up that comes up on this corner, he just runs out and aimbots me. And that happens in here too. In the in this final building, so I don't know if they changed the AI for Island Thunder or what, but the it's just it's like way, way more unforgiving than usual. So here's this guy. That's one. There are four in here. Hey, Jesus Christ, the fucking accuracy. That's two. Okay, that's three. The last guy usually likes to hang hang back. But we'll see here. Oh, you son of a bitch! Alright, that's that dealt with. My god. So yeah, they uh, you it's usually one guy that kind of is over here or here or something. One guy's always in here. One guy likes to go in here, and one guy likes to, I think, go here or here. But yeah. Oh god, this it's just so unforgiving. It like more than usual than go the normal Ghost Recon. It's like they just aimbot you like right away sometimes, and it, it's, it doesn't matter if you're if you just dead on or what. It just holy shit. So now we have four guys at the end of this little lake or something that are kind of just strolling about. So yeah, there they are. And sometimes, I don't know how, but sometimes they just sneak up on me and one guy's like right behind this tree and I don't never see him coming at, at all. Brilliant accuracy. Just absolutely brilliant. So we got two of them. Alright, that's those four, and now we have the, uh, the ambush section, which if you hug this side of the map, you won't trigger them until you want to, and this seems good enough, so, you run out here to the middle of the road and lie down, and then they should come up, there's one, there's two, and then another guy's gonna come up because he just heard that stuff. Sometimes they're right by each other, sometimes they do shit like that. Again, if you get unlucky in this game, you just get unlucky. There's three. Now there are four more guys down there, where those three came from. And they shouldn't be on alert. And these guys I've never really had a problem with. So I'm gonna take this corner. There are two guys, there should be two guys out in this field. There are two guys in this shed, but we're not gonna take them out yet. They could be further down. Ah, there. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna wait for them to loop around so we can get a clear shot. And the guys in the shed, every time I've done this too, they haven't responded and I, when I kill them. So. Yeah. Um, the next part, 
after we kill the sniper with the second building, basically, of this, like, shop thing or warehouse, that it's, um, gotta be very careful because the guys, they just spot you right away. And again, they aim by you very quickly, and there's there's four of them in there, and you have to watch the windows and stuff, and... Sometimes they'll just stay in cover. I think I... I think if you, like, suppress them, like, just shoot a whole bunch of shots in there, they'll get suppressed, but if you, like, one-tap all the guys, or try to, then they'll kind of move around a little bit. But you gotta be... You gotta be very, uh, careful at that part. When you're, when you're window watching, because one of the guys pops up, he's going to shoot you quick. But there's only four of them, so that's something good. Uh, and these field guys are taking their sweet ass time. There they are. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, now we shoot in here. Okay. Usually they just run out and panic. But, uh,. I guess all that fucking shit scared him. I think one's on his way out. And they're gonna come right behind this tree. Okay. There we go. That is... That is everything in here dealt with. Now... We go down here a little bit. And... Watch here really closely. There he is. You can see a sniper. There we go. And now the hardest part of the mission. Which I... Okay, you can see a guy's head right there. See one guy right there, alright. Let's cover that window with that tree so they can't pop up at us. That's two. Two of a... Uh, two of four. And you gotta watch right here. Because they like to pop up over there. Just run. And hopefully they don't decide to just sit there. Kidding me. There we go. That's the uh, three. Oh shit. Fuck, I missed the last guy. So it's fucking reloading. And I didn't even need to. Hopefully he comes back out. Okay, he came out. Alright, thank god. Alright. So yeah, they'll do that sometimes. Holy shit. So yeah, he decided to come out right there. So yeah, um... I don't think I can go in there to show you. Because otherwise that's gonna trigger some guys. But they're usually, like, just standing, like, right in the center of the building. Right around the package. If they're, like... If you alert them, or I mean suppress them and get them to just stay there, then I think they'll just sit right at that package and then, then you'll have to go in from the back. Because if you start shooting from up here into the front, you're going to trigger some guys. But now we go up to this truck. Go get a good sight on this field right here. 
Okay, so if there are two guys right here... Okay. So bad. So fucking bad with this accuracy. So yeah, if there are two guys right here... Then that means there's not going to be a third guy over here in this stuff. Of course, now there might be since I, f I missed that guy. But there's always one guy here and one guy further back that you can't see. That, you know, he was the one shooting at me. Then you got those two over there. Do you see what I mean? Oh, I think I got both of those guys. I think we traded. But he did get a lot of shots off, so I think the guys that are down here are going to come up. And this fucking cocksucker isn't coming out of this fucking cover over here in this fucking field. Alright, so now since those two are probably coming up, we're going to kind of go over here on this road and... Because they'll, they'll have to cross the road or go on the road to see what the fuck happened. If they decide to at all. Okay, so looks like they're not coming up. So now we can deal with this fucking shithead out in the field. Which is the one guy that I don't... Okay. So there are those two. He's gonna be further back. Right, fuck it, I mean, just, oh my god. There he is. Okay, so he's in the exact same position as the other guy. So now, once we kill him, those two guys down that other field are gonna, you know, come up. Now we need to run back to where we went when we thought they were coming up. <clears throat> Just like that. They're there. Oh, shit. Okay, all right. Oh my god, oh, fucking aim your weapon! Oh god, okay. Holy shit, this is... Yeah, the, then there are the two further down. And that's the sniper right there. Oh my god. So, uh, what was basically supposed to happen here was kill those two out in the field, you kill that third guy, and then you, then you kill these two up here. Hopefully they don't get a shot off at you, but they did. And I guess, I guess they decided not to come up then, 
They decided to come up when I shot that guy over there, which definitely happens. Wait, no, I was going out what was supposed to happen. Okay, so you kill those two. You kill these two, and then you come up here and just shoot. You know, basically like you're killing that guy, but he's not there because you already got him over here. But if he is over here, then it's the same exact result. Then you run back over here, come up here, kill those two. And, uh... By this point, you hopefully won't be wounded by panic fire. So... You'll be able to kill those guys with ease. And then, you know, again, these guys... Sometimes they come up. Sometimes they don't. But that sniper usually doesn't do shit. But, uh, yeah, when you kill those two, those guys hopefully don't come up, but then you can kill the sniper, and then that'll cause these two to come up. But, uh, they were already up here, so. Yeah. Uh, but now there are only two guys left on the mission. One guy, like, kind of patrolling right in front of the package, and one guy up in these woods over here. So we are going to go around. Should be able to. Get right over here without being spotted. That wagon is the package. Okay, so he's on his way back from his patrol because the thing just went off right there. Then the other guy over here, up here, and he'll show himself eventually. He's usually running. There he is. I totally fucked that. Okay, he decided to lay down right there. And that's, uh, the first mission. Oh, my god. Oh, my god, that was... Oh, fucking god. Alright, so... Yeah, that is, uh... Watchful Yeoman. Excellent work on the plantation. Holy fuck. Oh, that was... I've done that... I've done that mission so many fucking times. Holy shit. Um... Yeah, uh, Island Thunder is definitely the least... Um, the one I know the least out of. The normal Ghost Recon and... Desert Siege, Island Thunder is definitely my least played because it is so fucking hard. But yeah, uh, that was, I guess, the walkthrough. I mean, everything went well except the killing the eight guys on the plantation during the beginning and getting wounded by panic fire, which kind of made everything else go really slow because my guy wouldn't aim his fucking weapon. But yeah, I'll be back with uh, Angel Rage. <laughs> that sounds fun. I'll be back with that next time, so thank you for watching.